All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and I'm here today to show you how to connect your Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons to your Windows PC using Bluetooth. So the first thing you want to do is bring up your Bluetooth menu and make sure that you've got this toggle here at the top that allows you to turn it on. If you don't have that and you know you have Bluetooth, you're going to have to do a little bit of troubleshooting which I won't do in this tutorial because there's a lot of different things that you'd have to do to make sure it's functioning correctly. If you do have it, turn it on, and then grab whichever of your Joy-Cons you want to pair first. Now, I'm going to grab my left one, and if you hold it, there's that little rail that allows you to clip it into your Switch. On the back of that, there's these four little lights and a little round button that's black. Go ahead and press and hold on that black or gray brown button until the lights on the side start to flash. That means it's in pairing mode and you can click on add Bluetooth or other device at the top of the screen, Bluetooth, and then there it is, Joy-Con L, which stands for Joy-Con Left. I can click on it and it will pair that Joy-Con with my computer. Depending on what happens, one of two things may happen. Uh, mine flashed uh, mine flashed the top light, and then the lights went out. On my old set of Joy-Cons, the lights would never stop flashing, so it just depends. Sometimes one will stay lit, sometimes they'll all keep like flashing back and forth, or they won't. So now I'm going to grab my right Joy-Con, I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to press and hold on that button until the lights start to dance. I'm going to click on Add Bluetooth or Other Device. I'm going to click on Bluetooth at the top, and then here is Joy-Con R. And then similarly, it flashed the first light on the controller, and then after I clicked Done, it went out. Oh, now they both just flashed again, and the lights are, the first light is on on both the controllers. So, there you have it. So that's it, that's how you connect the Joy-Cons to your Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC using the built-in Bluetooth settings. From here, you can sort of use these with a handful of games that have built-in Joy-Con support on PC, but you'll also probably need some type of driver to make these talk to your computer correctly. These are things like Better Joy, DS4 Windows, or Steam has some great built-in controller support that makes this really easy to use. Oh, and the other thing you can do is if you want to remove these from your computer, all you have to do is find them in this list of connected devices under mouse, keyboard, and pen. Just find them and then click remove device. It'll ask you if you want to and you can confirm yes. It'll say removing device and after a moment it will disappear from this list and you can easily do that with both. Um, I will note that if you plug these back into your Nintendo Switch, the Switch will take control of them again and you may need to remove them from your computer and then repair them in order to get them to work correctly with your computer. Sometimes they still don't want to work correctly, so what I would recommend doing is plug them into your Switch, then unplug them, and then go into your settings and manually unpair them using the touchscreen with your Nintendo Switch. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody. Have a good one.